This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given that these three angles are equal and it wants to know what fraction of the entire rectangle is shaded. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, since it's a rectangle, we know all these angles are right angles. This is a 90 degree angle up here. And since all these angles are equal, each of them has to be 30 degrees. Next, let's look at this top triangle. If this is 30 and this is 90, this angle has to be 60. And same thing for this lower triangle. If this angle is 30, this one's 90, this one has to be 60 degrees. Since both of these are 30, 60, 90 triangles, let's look at the notes for 30, 60, 90 triangles. In every 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is always twice as big as the shortest side. And to get the length of the side opposite the 60 degrees, you multiply the shortest side by the square root of 3. And this is always true for every single 30, 60, 90 triangle. So how are we going to use these notes if we don't have any side lengths? We can assign the variable x to this piece right here. So we can take our triangle out and to find this length, we can take our shortest side and multiply it by square root of 3. Now let's bring the triangle back up here. We have this piece in terms of x, and we have the height of our entire rectangle in terms of x. And in a rectangle, opposite sides are congruent, so this side is also x root 3. Now let's pull this triangle out, and let's find the length of this side in terms of x. We're going to take this x root 3 and multiply it by square root of 3. So we end up with x root 3 times root 3. Root 3 times root 3 is equal to square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is equal to 3. So this side length is equal to 3x. So let's bring this triangle back up here. Now looking at this rectangle, we have both the height and the width in terms of x. Since we know the whole width is 3x and this piece is x, that means this piece is equal to 2x. And now we're ready to answer the question. We want to do the shaded area divided by the total area. The shaded area is this triangle. It's going to be 1 half base times height. So it's 1 half times the base of 2x times the height of x root 3. And then to get the total area of the rectangle, we're going to do base times height. The base is equal to 3x, and the height is equal to x root 3. And now we can clean this up a little bit. This 1 half times this 2 is equal to 1. And this x root 3 and this x root 3 are going to cancel each other out. So now we have 1x over 3x. Well, these two x's will also cancel each other out. Now we have the answer to our question. One third of this entire rectangle is shaded. Let's put a box around it. I really like this problem. I thought it was brilliant. Speaking of brilliant, let me give you an update on brilliant. I went through this predicting with probability. I love to use historical data to form probability distributions about future events. It's such a cool concept. Make predictions about weather, medicine, traffic, even artificial intelligence. This is what I was looking forward to the most, the Bayes theorem stuff. I think they chose a really good example for the lesson, and then I love the practice problems. For each of the problems, they had a hint and a full explanation. I found it fun to first not use the formula and just see if I could logically deduce what would occur. And then I use the formula to verify it. I don't want to go through too much detail in case you want to go through it yourself. Speaking of going through it yourself, if you want to try out Brilliant, there's a free 30-day trial. Visit brilliant.org slash animath or click on the link in the description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium plan. How exciting.